Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Ethan here with 3D Creative Club, and today we're going to be looking at one of my all-time favorite lighting techniques in Blender, which is to add texture to a spotlight, like you're seeing here. So I will go ahead and jump into Blender. This is the project file for the animation that you just saw, and you can see that this is the spotlight that we're going to be building that has that texture effect. Really quick, I'm going to hide that, and I'm just going to go through my initial lighting setup because the spotlight is going to be interacting with the other lights in your scene, obviously. Um, so just in case you want to create something similar kind of as a starting point, I'll just go through what I have here. Um, and you'll see it's, it's really not too much. I have this area light here. I brought it into my scene. I repositioned it, kind of rescaled it. Um, I brought the power down so it's at 2 watts, changed the color. The only other light in my scene is this point light here. Um, this is down really low to 0.3 or 300 megawatts. Um, and I brought down the radius so it's just kind of sitting better in that geometry of the lamp. If I go to shading and I go to my world shading, You'll see here that I'm also using an HDRI. It's set down really low to 0.03, so it's really subtle, but I think uh, in combination with the area light in my scene, it gives a really nice sort of balanced and natural look that um, I personally really like. So that's all the lights in my scene, and if, if, if I just rendered it like this, um, it would look something like this, um, which, you know, is, is not bad at all. It's, it's kind of a good starting point, um, but we can, we can definitely add a lot of sort of visual interest with this spotlight that we're going to build. So let's just, let's make that from scratch here in Blender right now. All right, to get started, I'm going to make a backdrop really quickly. So I'll just bring in a plane here and maybe scale it up. I'm going to go into edit mode. And I'm going to select this back edge, just extrude that up in Z space. And then I can select this edge here. And if I hit Control B on my keyboard and zoom back, I can also middle mouse scroll to add or take away these segments. This will just give me a nice kind of studio sweep, um, something that you might see like in a photo studio. And I'm going to scale that maybe in the Z here, maybe scale it up. I'm going to add a material. Let's say just make this black. And lastly, I will go to Object Shade Smooth. This is going to be our backdrop. Great. And now I'm going to Shift A and add a spotlight. And I'll just bring this over here. I'm just going to position this so it's facing really directly at the backdrop that we just created. So see here, maybe bring it back just a tiny bit more. Also going to switch from material view over to render view here. Let me kind of reposition here. Uh, I can't really see what's happening with the spotlight, so let me increase the power from 10 to, let's say, 1,000. Great. So at this point, we are going to go into the shading tab. And I'm also going to go to the render view here. And now instead of the world setting, I'm actually going to go to the object setting here. Make sure that my new spotlight is selected. And here where it says use nodes, I'll go ahead and click that. And this will bring up these two nodes here, the emission and light output, which is great. That's just what we want. We're going to build off of this. Um, we're actually going to bring in three additional nodes at this point. Um, the, the first one is really going to drive this effect, and that's the Voronoi. Um, so if I go Shift-A, Shift-A, that'll allow me to search for any node, and I can just type that in, Voronoi Texture, the Voronoi Texture node, and I'll just drop that there. Um, next, I'm going to Shift-A again, and I'll search for a color ramp. I'll drop that there. And the last one is a brightness contrast node. So I can just type bright. Great. And as far as hooking these up, it's going to go 
color to color there, color to color there, and then the color of the Voronoi texture will get plugged into the factor there. And I really uh, would suggest having the Node Wrangler enabled if you're going to do anything in the uh, shading tab here. Um, if you don't have that enabled, it's really easy. You can just go to Preferences, um, Add-ons, search for the Node Wrangler, make sure it's enabled. Um, I say that because at this point, uh, we're going to have the Voronoi texture selected. And then if I hit Control T, that's going to give me these two additional nodes. Um, and this is it. This is our entire setup for, for the light. Um, but just really helpful that the Node Wrangler um, will give me these. I don't have to um, type in these two manually. So we're almost there. I'm going to just make a few more adjustments. Um, first off is that let's maybe increase the scale to, let's say, 50 I'm going to up the contrast here as well. And then this is really important. Um, we actually don't want to map what's generated. We want to map the normal here. And you'll see here um, in the render preview, we're actually finally getting that, that texture in the spotlight. All right, excellent. So just a couple last things about settings so you can really get the most out of this spotlight here. Um, the main setting that you want to be aware of is in your light setting here under radius. Um, the default is 0.25. And what this setting does is it basically decides how sharp um, that projection is going to be of this Voronoi texture. So 0.25 is pretty soft. You can see if we go to, say, 0.1, that's going to bring it into a much sharper focus. And we could even go, just for demonstration, 0 0.01. You'll see that makes it a super sharp projection of the Voronoi texture. So it's just a balancing act, and it, it depends on your scene and the other lights in your scene. Um, but definitely good to know about that setting. Um, you can also adjust the spot size there. Um, let's go back to 45. Um, the blend is a nice setting also. Um, it can just kind of help you shape the the actual light beam itself. Um, again, you can increase that if you want to cover a really large area. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The scale here of the Voronoi texture can play with this as well. Get a lot of different looks. Um, for the animation at the beginning of this video, um, I actually keyframed the rotation the rotation here of the Y value um, in this mapping node. So you'll see here, it's not doing a great job in the preview, kind of just seeing these giant pixels, but um, this, will, this will allow you to animate the light really easily. Um, another option would be to go into your scene here and just kind of like physically rotate the light and you can keyframe that as well. Um, but yeah. That is how you add texture to your spotlights in Blender. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.